This miracle product is able to completely reverse stroke symptoms based on a scientific breakthrough from two Nobel Prize winners. Not really. It's based on absolutely no evidence, and it only costs three easy payments of $1,000. Available for a limited time only. Call now to get yours. While this might sound like an infomercial you might have seen at 2 a.m. in the mid-90s, the idea of a cure-all product for any ailment is still being perpetuated. These days, it just comes in different packaging. Let's explore where these healthcare scams are coming from and how you can spot the signs of one so you don't fall for their lies. Wait just a second though. Before I jump in, do you see that little join button down there by the subscribe button? Go ahead and give that a click to learn more about something new that I'm offering, channel memberships. And hit the subscribe button while you're there too. All right. Let's get into it. While scammers still call your telephone and even text now, scammers of all kinds are running rampant on social media. Consider that there are almost 8 billion people in the world and around 64% of us use social media. Of course, like with any new technology, this isn't inherently bad, but this also means that people who have zero education, schooling, and training are now giving health advice. And they're usually doing this to put money in their pocket. They're not looking out for your best interests, they just wanna make a quick buck. And unfortunately, there are a lot of them. There are many different types of scams, and I'm gonna to touch on a few. The first is supplements. And let me start off by saying that not all supplements are a scam. There are genuine and legitimate reasons why someone might need to take a supplement, and it could even be based on your doctor's recommendations. For example, I take a vitamin D supplement because I have low vitamin D levels and it's based on my doctor's recommendation. I also take fish oil. I also supplement with creatine for muscle growth now that I'm weightlifting. But what you need to understand about supplements is that they're not regulated by the FDA or any other governing body, at least here in the United States. And you should also know that under federal law, no supplement can state that their product will cure or treat any disease. But companies often still make whatever claim they want on their packaging as long as they include that little asterisk that says, these claims have not been evaluated by the FDA and are not intended to treat and cure any disease. Since we understand all of this about supplements, we have to realize that while some supplements can be helpful for individual people, there's not one supplement on the market that can be broadly recommended for everyone to take. We're all different people with different health histories, different backgrounds, and therefore we need an individualized approach to supplements and we need it to be guided by our doctor. Another health scam is the promotion of extreme diets and health trends. While certain dietary approaches, like keto for example, may benefit some people at certain times in their lives, if someone is telling you that keto is the only diet that you should be on for stroke recovery, this is simply not true and they may be selling you a scam, especially if they're promoting some keto-friendly product. Now, there are definitely foods that are better for your stroke recovery, which I made a video on a little while ago, and that may include some keto-friendly foods, but it doesn't mean that you have to go to some extreme. However, deciding what dietary approach is right for you needs to be decided with your doctor, not decided by a health influencer who is trying to sell you a subscription to ButcherBox or HelloFresh. Supplements, extreme diets, let's not forget the miracle products. Miracle teas, salves, powders, herbs, you name it. Let me immediately shut this down. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. When it comes to stroke recovery, there is no one size fits all approach. And as much as I wish there was a miracle cure for stroke recovery, the technology is just not there yet. Even with the best rehabilitation, diet, and medical intervention, there is no guarantee of a full recovery. And while I firmly believe that there is a potential for progress, no matter how far out you are from your stroke, there's not one person or product that can promise you with 100% certainty that you will make a full recovery. So you may see comments even on my videos. Recognize that they're lying to you and two, there is some financial incentive for them to get you to buy that pill. The last type of scam I wanna cover are influencers with no credentials. If you just type in stroke cure on TikTok, your feed is going to be loaded up with tons of videos of people touting these magic stroke cures. There was one person who stated that this particular supplement cured his stroke. And when I investigated further, and by investigated further, I just went to the comments, I found out that he was the one selling the supplement. And he was trying to win over people by sharing about his experience as a stroke survivor and how this supplement cured him. This is absolutely despicable to me. When someone has endured or claimed to endure a life-threatening traumatic event like a stroke, 
and then turns around to shill their own shitty product that they know is not gonna work just so they can make a quick buck absolutely infuriates me. All right, so we've talked about different types of scams. Let me give you seven simple tips on how you can spot a scam. The first is do a quick Google search. Now, this is not where it should end, but if you type a certain product or pill or person who's promoting something into Google, do you get some results that say, ah, this was a scam? Then you've saved yourself a lot of heartache because there might be Reddit threads, some websites that will actually let you know whether or not it's a scam to start with. Number two, and probably the most important point on this list, please ask your doctor. After you do your own research, your quick Google search, talk with your doctor about any products that claim to cure or treat your stroke or really any other health problem that you might have. Because the thing is, these supplements and products are not regulated. They may have adverse events. They may interfere with medications that you're already taking. And again, because they're not regulated, they may have potentially dangerous substances like lead in them or not even have what they propose that they have in their packaging. Now, on the premise of doing your own research in collaboration with your doctor, you can actually check out three different websites that are third-party testers of supplements to see if they have passed the sniff test, so to speak. They are NSF, USP and consumer labs. And I will be leaving links to those sites down in the description below. Number three, if a health influencer links a product and it seems a little bit sus and they're going to financially benefit from it, proceed with caution. It might be a scam. Number four, this is directly from the FDA's website, quote, they may use terms like scientific breakthrough, miraculous cure, secret ingredient, exclusive product. They use phony scientific sounding terms or refer to prestigious prizes, examples of bogus promotions. They use phrases like molecule multiplicity, glucose metabolism, thermogenesis, insulin receptor sites, Nobel Prize winning technology, or developed by two Nobel Prize winners. Number five, if they can't share any research to back up their claims about their product, it's a scam. This also goes for any research that has only solely been done by that company to promote the effects of that product. While there may be the potential for that product to work if there is some research behind it, if it was funded by the company, there is a conflict of interest and you cannot simply trust those results. They're not reliable. Number six, just use caution with any supplement. Like I mentioned before, not all supplements are scams. Talk with your doctor about it, check out those third-party testing websites and do a quick Google search. Lastly, if a company, brand, or product preys on your hope for full recovery, 100% recovery, it's a scam. Anyone who says that cannot deliver on that promise and they're only looking to line their pockets. While there are so many scams out there making false claims about health and stroke recovery just so they can make a quick buck, I do wanna reiterate that progress is always possible, but it's not miracle progress, it's incremental. It happens slowly and it happens as the result of the hard work and effort that you put into your rehab and recovery. If you wanna learn how to maximize that recovery, make sure that you check out this video. Remember to join the channel if you wanna make sure that I respond to your comments. And a huge thank you to all of the donors who make videos like these possible, especially Heather G, Ryan D, and Modus Nova in our Empower tier. You can support Post Stroke by giving us a super thanks by clicking down below via a donation by PayPal or snail mail, or of course, becoming a Patreon member yourself. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.